Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the um, James Bible study. Um, I hope you're enjoying it. I hope that um, the series is making us think about our Christianity. But before we begin, um, let, let's just pray. Lord, we worship you. We give you praise. We enter into your gates with thanksgiving, God. We enter into your courts with praise. Lord, I thank you for what you're about to do. Lord, just touch us and and, and let us be people that, that, that don't need to be ashamed and that, that will rightly divide the word of truth. Lord, let us rightly divide your word, Father. Let us let us come out, go bold, come boldly before the throne and, and just, just ask for help from you to guide us through all of these tests um, that being a Christian um, comes to. Lord, I just ask that you touch my mind, touch my, my voice. Let me say the things which you would have me to say, God. Let there be good ears, Lord. Uh, let there be, be good ground, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let this go on good ground, Lord, that it may sink into who we are and, and to what we're becoming. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Well, as you know, we're in um, James chapter 2 now. Um, the book of James, and 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 I want to just just um, just just go go into what the James is is talking about in, in in chapter two. You know, first part was the test of partiality, this, where we're now now going through the test of works, and and and, and this is where there there there's some confusion maybe, and there's you know between between what we see what we think we see Paul saying and and, and what James is saying, and and hopefully by the end end of this you you will. Uh, understand that it's all the same. Amen. Well, James chapter two says this, verse 14, what doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and have not works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and dest um, destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, depart in peace, be ye warm and filled, Notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doth it profit? Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Thou believest that there is one God thou dost well. The devil also believes or believes and trembles. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that man without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son unto the altar? Seest thou now faith wrought with his works, and by works was faith made perfect? And the scripture was fulfilled, which saith, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Ye see then how that by works a man is justified, and not by faith alone. Likewise also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works, when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Talk is cheap. And that's what I we, we want to talk about. Um, um, show me your faith. Show me your faith. L let, 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 not, let it not be just words because words are cheap. Words, words don't mean anything if it's not backed up with some tangible thing. Amen. Amen. So this is one of those tests that, excuse me, that was slide seven. Going back to myself. There we go. So this is one, one of those, those tests that you really need to pay attention to because people always brings up faith only saves you and not works. I will hopefully um, prove to you that during, during this Bible class that this stinking or stinking thinking is not good for us as Christians. Pastor Adams touched it last um, week on Wednesday, Bible study anyways. 
Have you ever heard about trash talking? Have, have you ever seen people who, who, who trash talk? It is quite popular, um, particularly in the world, world of sports. Even before a game is played, there are players who believe that they can gain an advantage by talking about their team's performance or their own. Um, I, 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 I can remember at the Hall, um, Hall of Famer quarterback, I think his name was John Unidas. Um, he he, he made, made this quote saying, talk is cheap, let's play. He used to every, every single time before they went onto the field, and, and they huddled and, and talked about, you know, in, in their locker rooms, he would end with this, talk is cheap, let's pray. And, 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 and I think that is, is, is so vital that, that it, it, it is. Um, John 2.19 says, you do well because be, you do well to believe in God. Satan also believes and trembles, saying that Satan believes there's, there, there's a God. Satan believes that that, that you have to be saved by um, through through God by, by by faith, but not by faith alone, because even he knows that there is a God. He believes that. So is he saved? That's a great question. So we're going to talk about real faith results in real faith. Excuse me, real works. Real faith results in real works. Amen. Uh, the book of James was um, one of the first of the New Testament books written in about 48, 49 AD. The theme of the book is proper Christian conduct in the midst of persecution. Proper Christian conduct in the midst of persecution, which we, which I, I go back to um, Romans chapter 12, 1, when, when Paul says, you know, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Present your bodies living sacrifices, holy and acceptable. So 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 to me, I, I think James is, is is pretty much saying the same thing. You, you know, not not only do you do, do you um, is it your 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 duty or 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 your responsibility as as a Christian, but through that faith, works happen. Works will all, always happen to for someone who has faith. Talking about the, the woman who had an issue of blood, she she thought if I could just touch the hem of his garment, she 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 didn't say I, I believe you know uh, and and this is going to happen and, and 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 they there was always an action to produce action with that faith to produce a real real faith active faith. The theme of the book and it, 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 it's proper Christian conduct in the midst of persecution. So we are, and we're, we're, it's happening bigger and more and more about what we do and Christians should, don't have to do this and Christians don't have to do that and, and Christians should be this and Christians should be that. Talking about the non-Christian who, who, who tells Christians how they should act. If you ask someone, and 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 I believe a, a survey was was done at one time of, of of fifty people, and they asked them, you know, what is the great the greatest commandment, and and or the the best thing, what what proves that that you're a Christian, and the answer was follow the Ten Commandments, be a good person, um, and, and things like that, and 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 that's good and 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 and, and well with a Christian, but but it, it it's it's much more than that. You see, the people to whom James is writing were first generation Jewish Christians who were being chased down and in some cases martyred for converting to Christianity. So James writes this letter to encourage them to stand firm for Jesus Christ, James chapter one, verse two and 12, but also to rebuke them and make them accountable for improper conduct such as sin Shown in James 1, um, 13, I'm sorry, 1, 13 through 15, personal favoritism, 2, 1 through 7, and speaking harshly to their fellow Christians, James 3, chapter 1 through 12. So please take the time to, 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 to read James. I don't know that the pastor was saying that, that he likes to read, read James now and, 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 and he encourages us to do the same. Well, I encourage the, the, the same because you, you can't be a true Christian unless you know what a true Christian is. You can't have real faith unless you know what real faith is. Amen.
So please take time to, to read the entire book of James on your own. But for now, I want to focus on the word justified. I've had people from different um, um, Christian organizations of man-made religion tell me that they believe that we are saved by our works because the Bible says that faith without works is dead. James 2.26. Um, However, we can clearly see from Ephesians 2.8.9, Galatians 2.16-21, through 21, Romans 11.5-6, and Romans 4.1 that our works cannot save us. Each of, our, each of the four texts were written by Paul from the books whose main theme was the doctrine of teaching about salvation. Some people may um, look at James 2.21 as a contradiction to God's word because James writes, was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered up Isaac, his son, on the altar? That word justify has two definitions and translations. In James 2.21, Abraham was justified, which means to prove or show to be just. His faith, like Rahab the harlot in verse 25, was proven by their demonstrations of faith and obedience. In verse 23, we revisit Genesis um, 15, 6, this time being quoted by James, like time, last time we saw in Romans 4, 5, that it was God who justified who, or who justifies the ungodly by faith or belief. In James 4, 5, the word justified means to judge or to regard or treat as righteous. It also means to qualify as bell or cert, um, um, surety. In our text, James says that saving faith is proven to those who observe our lives by what we do not based on what we say. If a person's actions do not display a changed life for Jesus Christ, then his claim to be faithful to the Lord is dead. In James 2.23 and Romans 4.5, God's righteousness was credited or deposited into Abraham's account. He proved his faith in God by obedience to him. James 2.22, 2, excuse me, and he, uh, and, and, and he was given God's surety as his child. Amen. If you had thought that Paul and James were con contradicting each other, I hope this, this um, proof that, 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 that I just shared provided clarity for you. Have you surrendered by helpless faith to, to the surety of Jesus Christ? I hope so. I hope so. Amen. So, real faith results in real works. What we're about to talk about, everything before this passage is like an arrow pointing forward to this passage. And after this is everything is pointing back to this. The book of James is all about hands-on Christianity. Hands-on Christianity. Without that, I don't know. Maybe we're somewhat lost. Amen. One up. that the identification of false faith found in James 14, 20, 14 through 20 and 26. Words without works is worthless. The application here is genuine faith gives you a genuine love for God and others. Saving faith provides a heart of compassion that results in action. For kindness is love, um, is love in shoe leather. I'm going to... Um, Point to that. The Apostle John wrote of this, but whosoever hath this world's goods and seeth his brother in need and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? Little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. 1 John 3, 17 through 18. Our faith 
is to be evidence, not just in worldly in word only, but works also. So what is he saying here? It's having faith is is good and 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 that faith is going to save you, but but you prove your faith through works. I think this is how how how, how Pastor Adams put it. Faith will save you and works won't. But if you have faith, then you'll have works. The Bible says, except a man be, 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 be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Those are works. Unless a man be born of water and spirit, unless he is baptized and, and filled with the Holy Ghost, he can't enter in heaven. There are works there that even Jesus Christ said. Abraham, Rahab, Job, David, all, all of these, the, 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 these, these Bible heroes, if you will, and, 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 and prophets, um, Elijah, Elisha, Samuel, all, the, all, all of these, these, these prophets pointed to faith and works. I remember um, Nahum in, in, in Bible went, went, went to the prophet because he heard that from, from his, um, his servant. He heard that um, the prophet could heal him. And he, and he goes and knocks on the door and has, has his, his, his person go and, and says, you know, what, what do I have to do? And, and, and he tells him to go dip in the Jordan River, cruddy, muddy Jordan River, seven times. Well, he didn't want to do that because he thought, why can't, why do I have to do something for this to happen? Finally, he did. He dips once, nothing. Dips twice, nothing. Dips four times, nothing. Dips six times and nothing happened. But that seventh time, as the prophet said, because of his works and what the prophet said, he did the seventh time and the leprosy left him. That is huge to me. So the identification of false faith is this. Profession without possession in perilous. perilous. Um, James 2, 18 through 20. That application, the, the individual that acknowledges Christ but never accepts Christ, it has dead faith. It is faith in name only. Church, I know we believe in, 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 you know, in the name of Jesus Christ and, 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 and everything, and, and I believe that too. But I don't want us to have, I don't want me to have dead faith. It is faith in name only. They believe in their head biblical and historical facts about Jesus, but has never trusted in Jesus with their, and input this, with their whole heart. They may not in agreement, but they have never knelt in acceptance. Many will miss heaven by 18 inches. And, and I know pastors talked about that. They, they know facts in their head, but they have never bowed in faith in their heart. Dead faith knows right words and facts, but demonstrates no real works of faith. So the question is, have you personally received Christ as your savior? How are you demonstrating Christ to the world? If you received Christ, there's a, a real reason why you received him, right? There, 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 there's a real reason, not only to go to heaven, but, 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 but you want to establish your, your love for him. And I, and I know when I, when, when I tell people or, or brag about my wife or, or, or my kids, it's because I, I, I want people to see how good they are. James would like, like us to show people how good Christ is by showing them. Christ through us. Amen. To me, that is huge. A faith that is outwardly unproductive is also inwardly dead. So 
on the outside, you can you, you can say all or you can say you know how good God is and thanks God and God blessed me and 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 and, and God you know did this through um God God is good he he's the only one who can save and and and, and that's all good. Where are your works? Where's your faith? You know people and 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 I you know honestly. I, I I I have a hard a hard time with this sometimes because I I believe and I really believe that people can be saved and people can be healed and people can be 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 delivered and 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 when I'm praying for some someone I I truly believe it. I need to start believing more for myself. God can heal me, and I put it in God's hands. And and I, honestly, I do put it in God's hands, but in this stupid head. Sometimes I don't really believe. I know God is able, but I have a hard time believing God will. I want to get to a point, me personally want to get to a point in which I, I believe that when someone prays for me, and, and I, I do receive it when people pray for me, and, and, but I, 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 it's like, you know, I believe God, but help my unbelief. Um, I need to believe for myself. You need to believe for yourself. That that when 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 um, you pray, when 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 people pray for you, when 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 people elders and preachers lay hands on you, that 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 you would believe and have faith that it is taking place. Amen. I like this. A faith that has no accompanying works is dead, as measured by its own barrenness. I like that word, barrenness, like a corpse, which may have all the outward demonstrations and configurations of a man. But if there is no evidence of life, the body is pronounced dead. It is faith in form only. True faith will be energetic in displaying itself by its fruits. But a faith that is merely professed without any observable effects is a false faith. Amen. So, so, so what am I saying? We know a person is alive because they're breathing. <gasps> if they are no longer breathing, we know that they are dead. They are dead. This happens in, in, in our faith. Also, James is trying, trying to portray if, if, if there is no works, if there's faith only and there's not breathable works, then that faith is false faith. It's dead. But if there, 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 there's an, an, an exhale and, and and a breathing in and 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 and, and, and the belief and and an action of faith, then that faith is alive. The illustration of true faith, um, as James um, imparts in verse twenty-one through twenty-five, true Christian faith will manifest its existence in active obedience to God's word. True faith is living faith. It's action, action faith. It's, it, it, it's, it's breathing faith. It is not in word only, but evident to others through obvious works. It is not in name only or form only, but practices obedience before God. True faith or active faith is a belief that re results in dynamic active response to God's grace. Salvation is by grace. It is through faith and it is unto God. I'm so unto good works. That is good. The example of Abraham that I talked about before, Abraham's works displayed the dynamic faith he possessed. Abraham was not saved because he obeyed God's command. Instead, his obedience demonstrated his faith in God. In other words, the faith that secured Abraham's righteousness before God in Genesis 15 produced the supreme evidence of its works some 30 years later in Genesis 22. That's the kind of act of faith that the Bible, from front to cover, lets us know how faith works. I said it again. From cover to cover, from, from generations all the way to Revelation, there was active faith through what 
God's children did. They believed in God. They were set apart from everyone else. But their actions spoke to everyone around them who they were. Does somebody who sees you in, in a market or, or, or in a classroom know who you are? Is it just because you tell them or is it because you show them? And that's work, school, even church. Who are you is described by who you associate yourself with and what you're about, your lifestyle. Amen. That's it, that one. Example of Abraham we, we talked about. Here we go. The example of Rahab. Rahab believed the word of God and demonstrated her faith in God through obedience. Her faith resulted in action and that action was rewarded by God. Amen. So that action is, it is re rewarded by God. Amen. Um, that faith was done through God or by God. Amen. Praise God. Let's go back. The conclusion is James. James would have heartily sung. If you're saved and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're saved and you know it, say amen. The question we must ask ourselves is, does my life demonstrate my faith? If I were put on trial for being a Christian, would there be enough evidence to convict me of being guilty? Is my faith in word only, name only, form only, do I have deep faith or a live, living, vibrant, actionable faith? Someone has said, if your religion hasn't changed you, you ought to change your religion. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. If your religion has not changed you, you ought to change your religion. Living faith is experienced by grace through faith and evidence through good works. Real faith results in works. Amen. I like to show you this, and, and, and this is the, the contradict of James and Paul. Paul says, for we hold that one is justified by faith apart from works of the law. James said, you see that a person is justified by works and not faith alone. He's agreeing with Paul, but he's saying that, that, that something's going to produce in a Christian when they have faith. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God and it was counted to him as righteousness, Romans 4, 3. James, was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered up Isaac, his son Isaac on the altar? See, these, these, the, these are not contradictions, but they're saying the same thing. People who read part of a, of, of, of a scripture and believe that, that that's all they have to do, that's, that's, that, that, that scripture is all they have to do. They, they think that because they, they, they believe in, in through, through what Paul said, then they're good to go. James is saying, no, you're not. You, there, there's, there's going to show or something's going, going to be produced when, when faith is active. If if I planted a a a, a vegetable garden and and I told everybody, hey, my my vegetable garden is right here, and 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 I don't plant a seed, they'll think I'm ridiculous. What kind of seeds did you plant? Well, I didn't plant any seeds. I but I have faith that 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 this part of the garden is going to produce because I have faith. <laughs> they say, no, that's not right. Or a vegetable garden to produce what you want 
to get from it, seeds have to be planted. Something has to be done. It has to be watered. It, it has to be looked at. It has to be in sun and, and all these things. Well, faith is the exact same way. If you're not producing or if faith isn't causing you to produce something, then it's an act of faith. Or is it like this faith that we said in, in the very beginning? Satan believes and trembles. What I'm saying is active, vibrant faith is going to produce. It's going to produce people. It's going to produce healing. It's going to produce a lot of things. And the more things that are produced, the more faith you should have. When I was first a Christian and and just brought into this Christianity, you know, I, I, I thought the same thing. I have faith that this is going to happen, but it never happened. And I asked my pastor, I, I don't understand. And, and he says, what, well, what did you do? What do you mean what I did? I, 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 I believed. Okay, what did you do? What did you do? So I had to turn myself, my, or my thinking around and I believed that my friends were going to get saved. And, and, and how I believed made me interact with them in a, at a different level. Then everybody knew I was a Christian. There were other Christians in the school, but no one knew them. There were other Christians at work, but no one knew them. How do they know I was a Christian? It's not by what I said. It's by how I acted. Will you pray with me? Lord, we love you. We, Abundant Life Tabernacle, really, really, really loves you. Lord, let me to us demonstrate your love or our love for you by what we do and not just by what we say. Lord, let us be a, 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 a part or, or, or a hand or, or a foot that you can use. Let us be a vessel in which you can use to save others. God, we know that, that that it's just not faith alone, but 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 it is it is faith. But it, but it, it, that faith has to produce something, God. It has to be fruitful, Lord. It has to be. So, Lord, let us be fruitful. Let us be be doers of the word and and, and not hearers only. Help us to be doers, Lord. Let us increase our faith by by what we do and and and, and by your your manifestation through us. This I pray in your name. Amen. God bless you all, and I hope you enjoyed this. Amen.